All right, so I'm here just got a bunch of leftovers in my fridge, so I thought I was gonna make a soup out of it. Now the good base for a soup, they call it a mirepoix, but it's just a base for a soup. And most things, soups have this base, I'm pretty sure. It's just onion, carrot, and celery. And the fancy chefs out there would like to say, oh, that's a mirepoix. But it's just a bunch of vegetables cut up, thrown in a pot. Now, I notice I have my, um, like I call myself the topless chef. I mean no disrespect out there to real chefs that have, you know, traveled the world and worked under different people and it's just a word I'm using. So, real chefs out there, don't take any offense to it. So, I'm going to start it off with carrot, onion, celery. I already have my salt and pepper in there. I'm going to put some beef boo on it to give it a nice beef flavor. And I'll show you all the leftovers I'm throwing in. leftovers I have from the last couple days. This is from when I made the uh, green peppers stuffed. Uh, this is from when my mother made the um, macaroni salad. This is my curry chicken from yesterday. So I'm going to cut up the rest of the ham, cut up the sausage. Now, don't be as uh, uh, dangerous with a knife as I am. I have a lot of experience with a knife. So try to go slow and steady. Make sure you don't cut yourself. These things can take your finger off quicker than you even realize it's gone. It'll just be gone. So be very careful messing with the knives. Uh, Cut up their sausage here. Now, when I do sausage, most people don't even notice, but there's a little, there's a skin on that that you can peel off. There it goes. We drop that right in there. And come back over. Now, these noodles, now, like normally, because I got ham and sausage in there, I'm gonna use these as the leftovers. But if you didn't use the ham and sausage, you could literally take the chicken off of off of the curry chicken and just throw the rice and everything right in there once it's got about eight, 10, 12 cups of water, however big you want it to make it. Leftovers can always be used in a soup 80% of the time. So just keep that in mind and try not to throw out food. Any food you throw out is wasted money. You might as well just be throwing out dollar bills. today for the soup. Now it says one cube is good for I think uh, two cups of water so I'm going to put in ten cups so I'm going to use five cubes. Two, four, six, eight, ten cups. So we're just going to drop all the beef boulon cubes right in there one at a time. And then just add our 10 cups of water.
I was just kind of guesstimating when I said 10. I may only use 8 because lot's starting to get a little bigger. So it looks like 8's going to be enough. Um, we'll do 10. So there's 10 cups of liquid for your 10 cups of boulon. Just drop noodles right. Oh, actually, for noodle based stuff, I'd wait the first couple hours for the soup to be made because if you stick the noodles in there, they're probably just going to get really, really soggy and want to fall apart. So I'm actually going to throw that into the very, very end. I'm just going to let this come to a boil and simmer for about two hours and it should be good. And then just we'll add that in there. It'll be done. All right, that's how you make soup out of your leftovers. Thanks for watching and hope you guys are still having a good day.